Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up Wii U today using Launchbox. So there's a couple of prerequisites you're going to need for this tutorial. So you're going to need a game, and obviously you're going to need to rip the game. So standard layout of a Wii U game is going to come in a folder. You're going to have a codes folder, a content folder, and a meta folder. The folder you need to look into is codes. And inside codes, there's likely going to be three files. One of the files is going to be .rpx, and you're likely going to see lots of numbers and lots of letters. What you need to do is just right-click on the RPX file and rename it. So, for example, my Devil's Thirds game had AZ124, whatever. And what I did was just renamed it to Devil's Thirds, leaving the .rpx file extension on the end. So next prerequisite you're going to need is Semu, and Semu is the greatest Wii U emulator out there. So if you go over to the website, and I'll leave the link in my description to download this, the latest version is 2.0. So I'm going to download this and just set this up, and this is going to take you to a GitHub. And if you just left click on the link there, and the version for Windows you want is the Semu. 2.042 Windows times 64. And as you can see, this was last updated two days ago from this recording. So this is going to download into a zipped file. If we just open this up and drag the folder onto the desktop or just drag it wherever you want this. So once we've extracted that Semu emulator, you'll find a few different things inside. The one you want is Semu.exe, and this is the emulator itself. If your operating system should prompt you with, a, say, Windows protected your PC, just ignore that and just run it. So let's just do the basic setup for Semu at the moment, just to get up and running. So let's just go to Next for now. And start games with full screen. So once you open up Launchbox and you open up your Wii U games through Launchbox, you're obviously going to want them to go into a full screen mode. And close. And this is it. So once we open up Semi through Launchbox now, everything should be set up and ready to go. So I've got the free version of Launchbox, and this is the latest 13.5. Just close this one down and I'm going to import my game and also show Launchbox how to open up the emulator and where to open up the Semu emulator. So if I go to Tools at the top, Import, ROM Files, and on the wizard, just press Next. Now, in my case, I'm just using Devil's Thirds, which is a single game, so I'm going to just go to Add Files. If you've got many Wii U games, then obviously put them into a Wii U folder and go and navigate your Add Folder option. But like I say, in my case, I'm going to just add a single file. So I'm going to just find my game. So it's obviously located on my desktop. And there we go, Devil's Third. Now, once you find this, what we need to do is go into the Code folder and select the RPX file. So I'm going to just double left click on this one. And that's now added to the file to import. Next. And what platform are you importing games for? So it's obviously going to be Nintendo Wii U. So just scroll down until you find Nintendo Wii U. And next. And choose the emulator. So I'm going to go to Ads for this. And Semu, which we've just downloaded, is going to go under the application path. We need to find the .exe of Semu. So if we go to Browse, and that's under application path, Obviously, in my case, the emulator is on my desktop. So if I go to the Semu folder, and I'm going to just double left click on Semu.exe because Semu.exe is what opens the emulator. I'm going to press OK and Next. And this bit is optional for you. In my case, I'm going to leave the game in its current location so it doesn't transfer the game elsewhere on my computer. And next, and as always, just be sure to what you're downloading just there. This is all your artwork, and if you leave it by default and download everything, it's going to take up a lot of unnecessary space on your hard drive. So I've just selected a few options there, just box 3D. So next. And configure MU Movies. So if you have an MU Movies account, then just put in your user ID and password in there. It's a free website to use, and that's going to get you some video previews to go with your games. 
Now press next and next again. And the final stage on here is it's ready to import our game, showing the extension of .rpx in the title, which Devil's Third. I'm going to press finish and just let it search for metadata and download the box art. And there we go. You also notice under the tabs on the side, we now got the Nintendo Wii U logo up here. And if you want a different presentation for this, when you downloaded your artwork a minute ago, if you go to image group, you can select what type of artwork it's going to display on Launchbox. So in my case, I only downloaded 3D boxes, I believe. But if you downloaded other things, then this is where you can find them. So I'm going to just open my game. So if I double left click on this. And it should open into a full screen like I asked it for just now. So there we go. Now you'll notice that it will say compiling shaders. Uh, what this is going to do is potentially make your games run very slow initially until it loads all the graphics and everything else into memory. So it's a one-time thing, really. So once it's compiled all those shaders, it will store in a folder somewhere on your computer called cache. And uh, like I say, once that process has been finished, it won't do it again. So obviously, the better your computer, the quicker this shader process will finish. Now, obviously, my controller isn't working for this, which is silly of me. So I'm going to just exit out of here. And if I go back into the Semu emulator, I'm going to configure the controller from there. So find the Semu emulator. And if you go to Options and Input Settings, Controller 1, Profile Name, I'm going to just call this Jamie. So on emulate its controller, just go to Wii U Gamepad. And this is going to open up all your different buttons on the Wii U Gamepad. And under controller, API, in my case, is going to be X input. And that's likely going to be the case for you as well. And controller is going to be controller one. I'm going to press add. And this is already actually mapped all my buttons out for me on my PS3 controller. So let's just test this. If I press A, and my PS3 controller is now corresponding with the buttons on there. So just remember to save this configuration and profile saved. And if we back out a SEMU and go back into Launchbox, I'm going to open up Devil's Bird again. And the shader this time round should be gone. And there we go, my PS3 controller is now working as the Wii U gamepad. So if I just back out of this by pressing escape on my keyboard. So that's it for my Wii U launch box setup guide. If you like what you've seen today, just hit notifications so you don't miss any more launch box upcoming tutorials. I'm also on social media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.